Hey, many fish. It's 22nd of April, 2018. And it is spring in my neck of the woods, and the snow has just now come off of the ground enough to move around. So, you know, things get busy around this time, and spring's coming late. Quite late, actually. But I see this was all over the place. I'm looking just on my couple little news suppliers here. That's all. And uh, this is the big story today. The shooting at the Waffle House, right? So he killed four people, right? Seven months ago, there was a, a mass shooting right down the street from there. And we'll, we'll get to that. They mention it twice. Seven months ago. Seven months ago. And the guy's 29. Hmm. 9-11. So, as weird as this is, when I first saw this, it, it, I saw Waffle House. I mean, and I, I used to love Waffle House. I mean, I would stop in there all the time in my travels, right? But I just, I'm just led to put that into Gematria. I just damn, you know how that just happens here and there. But it happened in this case. And I had one here with that in it, but we can do it again. Remember, right there, Jesus is 444, okay? If we put Waffle House, can't even spell Waffle, right? Waffle House, we get 121 in the simple, okay? 726, but the six count, we get 121. And right after... I see this here, and I put this in here. I wasn't going to do a video or anything, even though it is 777, you know. I mean, it's crazy. Uh, but the 121 shows up as I'm looking through the news in this article here. just came out, look, three hours ago. Man fires 121 rounds into hunting cabin. Later dies. Okay. This is in the town of Apollo. I mean, this is just crazy. At 2.30 a.m. And so the 121, the Waffle House 121, the Waffle House shooting, the four dead, the I don't know how many injured. I think there are eight injured. But seven months after a previous attack which was this guy and don't forget the name of the town is Antioch go look in the book of Acts I mean it is all over the book of Acts and his name was Emmanuel Samson okay God with us Samson I mean this is the kind of stuff I'm just telling you that I I cannot help <laughs> To show you, and I'm not going to edit this or anything because this is just popping up, you know what I mean? So we have that craziness to begin with, right? And I continue looking at today's news, and this is today, this is uh, just earlier this afternoon, and it's about that Philadelphia Southwest Airlines flight. Remember, flight 1380? And, of course, we have the 7s and 3s everywhere. It adds up to 17, 737 all over the place, all right? And the Southwest said that 40 of its 4,000 scheduled flights were canceled for inspections. FlightAware showed about 414 Southwest flights, about 10%. So, 444, four, four, 4. I mean, 4s to me... You know, they spell Jesus to me. I mean, that's what it basically always leads back to. I mean, it can be looked at in all kinds of different ways, but that's, for me, plus the fact that it was the plane that had to land in Philadelphia, okay, the Eagles, that's how I look at it. And the 43-year-old woman, another seven, and you can go into all the various things, but Nonetheless, is another 777, and I keep, keep going. These are just today's articles, like I say, you know, so I'm just sharing them with you. I, I can't help but see these things, and 
you know, they're all mainline newspapers and stuff. I'll link everything. This is the LA Times. The reason you don't see it up here is because I keep the script off because I don't want all that junk in my computer. And uh, 63 people today killed in attacks on registration centers in Afghanistan. S what's 7 times 9? 63. 6 and 3 are 9. 9 times 7, 63. 777, 777, 777. I mean, really, you know, I can't help but see this stuff. 57 were dead earlier, and then another 6 got blown up later on. So 63 people blown up today in Afghanistan. Isn't that great? The world's oldest person died today at 117 years old. I mean, really, that's that's pretty nuts, don't you think? I mean, really. And then, oh, this one. This one is just crazy, you guys. 17 people died in a dragon boat accident. Whatever that is, right? And check this out. Down here they say on late Saturday, 17 people had been confirmed dead. A total of 60 people fell into the water. But I saw that sentence all together like that. And I said 17 and 60. 7-7. Seven, seven. And it just goes on. Right, with the Waffle House guy and everything. The guy that shot it up seven months ago, wounding seven people. I mean, really. And it, the guy that fires 121 rounds into the building, and Waffle House is 121. <laughs> oh, yeah, and it doesn't end there. Somebody showed me this a couple days ago, but this is still ongoing, this... Russian warship entered into the uh, English Channel the other day. And from my understanding, it's still passing through. But nonetheless, they show the ship passing through there. And of course, it's got to be 777. I mean, really? I mean, come on now. What are the chances of this, folks? I, I just can't even do any of the figuring. And it was 120 meters long. Didn't Hitler just turn 129? And it's a Type 23 frigate. Frigate. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. I mean, and it goes on just like everything else does. December 23rd, it intercepted. The, I mean, really? 777? Come on. <sighs> Where does it end? You know what I mean? It, it really, it kind of doesn't. I believe it or not, I could I could keep going on. We got the hundred and seventeen year old woman. Oh my goodness! Even on Drudge, they they show the guy's name here. Emmanuel's push to keep Iran nuke deal. I mean, when do they start using first names? And when you go to the actual article, it says nothing of the sort. You know what I mean? It's crazy, because the guy who shot up Nashville seven months ago was named Emmanuel. It's just stuff like that, that's all. And I just want to share it, because I think it's interesting, and it does, to me, it illustrates quite a bit. Especially when we see this last one I'm going to show you here, which is absolutely, positively insane. And if I can just find the right one here, look at this, you guys. GQ says, Bible, one of 21 classics. You don't have to read before you die. No, no. Not at all. If this doesn't illustrate to you what this world, what's emerging in this world, no matter how much you and I love God and Jesus, the rest of the world doesn't think that way. And uh, this is Satan's turf. And if you're not in the spirit of God, through the blood of Jesus, what's coming on this earth is going to devastate you beyond understanding. So you must be prepared. I mean, in all fashion, primarily spiritually, but as well as physical and mental. I mean, be squared away, you know, be a man, be a woman. But nonetheless, we're, we're at the end, folks. And it just has to be 21, right? Seven, seven, seven. 
And I got and I have to show you this one last thing. This is the Bible verse that I pulled up just before I made this video. And when I tell you that this is absolutely off the hook crazy for this chapter and verse to come up on here, I can't express how nuts that is. But let's read this. Revelation 22, 11 through 13. I'm telling you folks, we're on the edge. This 777, I've explained it before and how my spirit interprets this. This is, this is that satanic spirit that darkness in the earth emerging that represents their antichrist emerging and it always always centers around a paradigm changing event the 777 like the london bombings look at 911 it was absolutely a 777 ritual there's no way around it look into it if you're so inclined i'll link everything i got but for this, this to come up on my random verse thing is just amazing. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according as his work shall be. I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Amen. Praise God. So, for that to come up after all this craziness, I'd say that was worth sharing. I'm not going to edit it to make it, you know, any more, you know. So, just want to share it with you guys, that's all. I hope you all had a good weekend. Everybody's well. Peace and grace to you. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 